Kilmurray, and I am a performance artist in Chicago Performs 2022. Today we're at the Color Club, which is a new gallery space and community space in Avondale. I've been rehearsing here, um, I guess about six months, um, but I've been an artist in residence here for roughly about a year. I love living on the Northwest side. It's very homey and community oriented and humble and alive. I make performance because I, f I feel like it's a way to be seen. It's a way for me personally to be able to have agency and total autonomy to put myself out the way that I want to and that of my collaborators as well. I think it's important to be witnessed in who you are and I think it's also important for folks to do the witnessing and to see themselves in you. I think performance is incredibly powerful in that way and it's, it's, it's wildly unique. Chicago performance is soulful and it is scrappy and it is DIY and it is storefront and it is uh, basement shows and it is block parties and it is friends of friends of friends of friends. <laughs> and I think that that's, to me, the best part about performance in Chicago is that the network is huge. I've lived here for a really long time, almost 20 years, and as soon as you feel as though you have an idea of where you are and how you sit inside of it, um, you meet a new person who is a friend of a friend and they show you a whole nother corner of the city. It's kind of like secretive and never ending. I came to dance through music videos <laughs> and dancing at the YMCA and in like the church basement, dance schools, and the place that I grew up in um, suburban New York. And so coming to Chicago, I, uh, I was in some academic programs and had found myself in more codified spaces for dance. And I, I actually really struggled with that, the, those um, the, not necessarily the forms, but the modes of practice. And I think as an antidote to that, I sort of dove headfirst into the inverse of that. So I spent a lot of time in nightclubs and in mosh pits and did everything that was the inverse of training, which was just thrash around a lot and feel the feeling that I felt I was lacking which was just a connectivity to my body and a connectivity to like a pulse and an aliveness. In my early 20s, I spent some time living in an art space. It was a house filled with um, actors and writers and, and chefs and videographers and set designers and lighting designers and this kind of perfect alchemy. And so for years, I was really lucky to be a part of this group and we put on dance shows and plays and dinners and concerts in our house. A major thing that I learned during that time was the ways in which live performance and dance performance in particular didn't have to be separated. There didn't have to be this fourth wall. It didn't have to be far away from its witness. Um, you could be directly connected to the people in front of you. Um, it could be treated just like a concert. It could be treated just like a, like a dinner. I am showing an iteration of a project that I have been in research and development with for the better part of a year and a half. The function is, um, it's really a lot of things. I'm very curious about how performance gets built and the metaphor of the labor of imagining and then the labor of executing. I focus a lot on ideas of effort and placemaking and using performance as sort of a way to dream up realities, real or imagined. So I think for me, the title in a practical way is just about the curiosity of how a group functions. I'm quite focused on performance that gives agency and, and platform and space and empowers women and queer folk, it tends to be women and femme centered. So that's still true of this work. Again, I'm, I'm always curious about what it means to take that space up and then what it is that we want to do with it once we have it. With this work in particular, there's like a pretty heavy like DIY sensibility to it. That's where I 
learned how to craft performance for myself as an artist um, with extremely limited resources, not, not necessarily just money, but like space and stuff. And so that ethos and culture, and, as, and I guess as a consequence of that aesthetic, has, has been a through line also in, in all of my work up until this point. I think the function sits perfectly inside of that.